Hello Libra, this is the gift to you too. Just shuffling the cards for the next seven days. See what the angels and spirits would like to tell Libra. Oh, they're flipping out. Okay, Libra, what would the angels and spirit guides like me to tell you? Which angels would like to tell Libra for the next seven days? Angels and spirit guides, next seven days for Libra. Next seven days for Libra. Next seven days for Libra. Next seven days, that's the hermit. Next seven days for Libra, two of swords. Seven days for Libra. This is a Celtic cross spread. Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles, Celtic cross spread for Libra, Libra, Libra. What would the angels like Libra to know? What would the angels like Libra to know? What would the angels like Libra to know? Okay, we have the full Seven of Wands reversed, Page of Pentacles, the Hangman. And the chariot. Right, okay. I've got the Hermit Virgo card. Um, you're following your path. You're following your original plan. You've just, I think you've decided to turn your back on... Um, there's, there's a choice here. There's a decision. It's a stalemate. So you're kind of in a position where you're blindfolded and anyone comes near you, you're going to chop their heads off. You, try, you want to just follow. Be on your own and follow this plan, right? It's just like, leave me alone. Um... The temperance is up there tempering things and putting a toe in that water to test the temperance, the temperature. Uh, there's alchemizing. There's something going on in the ether which is manifesting unbeknownst to you while you're in this locked hermit mode, trying to focus. It's just, I can see, like, she'll chop their heads off, but she's focusing. She's trying to turn her back on the motion, turn her back on everything. She's, she wants to see the inner light with the hermit, the inner light. She's focusing in on the third eye. And while that's happening, that allows temperance to take place, patience. And there's a gift coming, and it's a surprise. It's a, big, it, it's a surprise um, because... You've taken on too many people's dramas and you're wounded. You're, you're weak. So this surprise comes in while you're sitting stubborn and, and not looking at anything, just going inward. Um, offers you this new beginning into the void and to jump into the unknown. Uh, but you feel very vulnerable that you're not got you, you it's off you're off guard. This this thing comes in when you're off guard. And he says, Come on. His text messages, we've got we've got to go. We've got to um uh, we've got a little bit of money to put into the future. Uh, let's go ahead and do the thing we, we wanted to do. This, or it could be just you saying, okay, I'm going to go ahead. I've got this little bit of money. I'm going to plant it into the future. Um, it's a very small, it could be a younger person offering you something for the future. But you, you're, you're quite, because you're not guarding, it's out of the blue. And you're going into your inner wisdom. This surprise comes and it's like a double whammy. It's like double surprise. Um, or someone finds out you get this money and you're ready to go into this unknown and jump and leap into the unknown and go, yes, I can start afresh. Um, but someone seems to have knocked you off your pedestal. So you're a bit, you're a bit weak. Don't let them say, oh, I can do something with your money. <laughs> um the hangman is, is seeing things from an, a, a different perspective and waiting. There might be a waiting period before you get this uh, money. The surprise comes and yes, you know you want to jump into this new beginning, but you're, you're worried that you're not... Maybe you take your boundaries down to go down with the people. It's like you put that... You come off a pedestal. You've been demoted in some kind of way, or you've humbled yourself by being on your own and with this hermit and got rid of a bit of ego. Um, and you're willing to go and fight with the people or do something with the people, uh, and join the crew. The page of wands wants you to look into the future. He wants to plant a seed. There's a message coming in of, lo of love, but it's practical. It's something earthed. You're going to feel very secure. Something's happening where it wants you to feel secure, but you're in this cut your, I'll cut your head off. I'm wounded, 
but it's almost like you've got no choice. You have to move on. You have to move into this new beginning. Um, vulnerable or not, you need to plant a new seed. Um, it's going to have a waiting period. And it's going to be frustrating. But you could be going away with someone, pulling your, your horses into one one victory. There's a victory. But wait first, because it's like the temperance and the hangman. It's like, shh, just pay, be, be quiet, be patient with the hermit, be very wise, look at the light at the end of the tunnel. You're, you're being offered this surprise. Let your boundary down a little bit because it might not happen for another five years or something. Um, and it was a waiting period, but it's going to be fast movement. It's fast. There's lots of there's travel cards here. Travel inwards, travel outwards. Seeing things differently. From wounds, you've learned a lot from wounds, but you're about to get a, a surprise and earthed a, a solid surprise that enables you to move and travel and be the fool and start from a zero point. So there's something that's solid for the future. Let your guard down, listen to what they've got to say. Okay. Maybe you have to wait for someone or wait for this thing to come to fruition. But they will come to you. They'll drive to you. They'll come to you. Just you wait. Contemplate. Be wise. Be spiritual. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yes, there's the new path with the two of wands. So you will be moving into a new path. Just wait. Not yet. You You need more inner knowledge first. You need to temper yourself. And maybe by jumping into something too quickly, it makes you vulnerable. So look at the long game. Look at waiting. Look at hanging upside down and waiting. Sacrificing something like your your impulsiveness. So Libra, it's a nice it's a nice reading. Someone's coming to you, you're going to them. But after a little bit of a wait, make them wait. You know, be wise self-respect maybe you won't be able to if you move too quickly you'll you'll lose your platform so play the long game with the page he's slow he's he plants a seed and waits for it to grow he waits and he waits but you won't wait long because someone's coming towards you in a car this is a car this could be a new car maybe you've got to wait for this new car that's been done um yeah, and there's this new path with somebody. You're looking out into a vista, solidly with someone, and you cho you you're able to choose the path. It's these two. The chariot is a two choices and two. So you want to know that your choice is the best choice, the best path, and you will know that if you just hang around, so sacrifice that impulsiveness for a little while. Let's ask the romance cards what they would like Libra to know. What would you like Libra to know? what it's all about there's something alchemizing in the ether would you like the angels what would you like to do? okay you have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life i told you just wait um, following and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment make the effort great love see what I mean this is, just keeps doing this please stay there pumpkin make it stay right make the effort Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So maybe this is someone's been addicted to something and it's wounded you. Oh, there's one here. Hold on, hold on. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, I think maybe someone's 
has gone into hermit mode. It could have been for an addiction of some kind. Um, it's, or you've decided to follow your original path and be wise and just go into your head. Take this time patience. It's saying to you to wait because you don't want a codependency, anyone being codependent or you being codependent. You both need to be individual people before you can get together and it's worth waiting for. So um, make the effort, make the great work, love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So the hermit, he guides. The hermit guides, just hand it up. What is your wisdom telling you? You're in a stalemate. You need to make this choice. But you, you can't make it yet. You're going to get a surprise. It could mean that you've just stopped taking on everyone's dramas. You move into the unknown on your own. You like you want to jump into the unknown. But don't be so impulsive because you could lose your stance. Okay? If you, This is someone who's not guarding their heart either. Someone's offering you a message into the future. But it's a very small thing. It's a very earthy thing. And it takes time. So you need to think about this. Is this what something you want to wait for? Or do you want to rush and have your victory sooner? So, or is someone rushing to you in a car? So at the, seven of, the end of these seven days, you will know. And I think the chariot is the seven card. So on the seventh day, you will know what path to take. You'll definitely know just at the moment. Make the effort, forgiving and learning, codependency. It is safe for you to love, worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in this situation. So it's all coming in, but you'll know what path to take. To take. And it's a victory card, you'll get victory. It's just that if you leap too soon, you might have to wait longer, you know? So what would the angels and spirits like us to know? What would the angel cards do? Okay, angel cards. Okay, angel cards. And that chariot is a cancer card as well. It could be on, 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 at the moon, even. I think at the seven days, you'll have victory if you just be patient. Something's working for you. Be patient, don't jump too quickly. My phone keeps going back. <laughs> so maybe someone, you'll be going back to somebody. Okay, we've got one. I'm going to take the one. It says, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. <sighs> so you're going within because you're too hurt and you, 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 you need to make a choice. You've turned on, on emotion. Cold. Just wait. Wait. You will have earthiness and money to do what the hands you have to do. It's just that you're too wounded right now. Don't be too impulsive. Because you're not strong enough. Your guard's down from your heart. You will get this message. But let it be, be patient. Because it's coming. The victory's here. The, the path is here. You'll know exactly which path to take with that two of wands. Okay? Thanks very much. I'm the Gift 202 Susie. And this has been your reading. Email me on the Gift 202 at G... No. The Gift 202 CS at gmail.com. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.